bowling second time. Come over here and get some pictures. Cars. We get some of these signs before we start.
line for the information. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. No cuts based on the document you inherited. And now I'm looking at the point. This is what democracy looks like. We are what democracy looks like. We are what democracy looks like. We are what democracy looks like. Raise your hand, buddy. All I want to ask is why you have a salary that includes a free Now, if I can take any more of these guys, thank you. Take three thousand dollars out of my household. I am very close to the poverty line. Once that three thousand dollars comes off my income, I can't qualify a whole lot of my mortgage. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. That's what the government and the new plan Labrador is doing for me. That's what they're doing for me. I don't care about you. You don't listen to me. I don't care about you. You're publicity stunt. 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 you are publicity stunt 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 you are publicity stunt
something text. Uh, this particular text was titled Never Whistle While You're Pissing. Here is something which was found in the middle of that book. Definitions and distinctions. First one, free market. That condition of society in which all economic transactions result from voluntary choices without coercion. The state, that institution which interferes with the free market through the direct exercise of coercion or the granting of privileges backed by coercion. Tax, that form of coercion or interference with the free market in which the state collects tribute, the tax, allowing it to hire armed forces to practice coercion in defense of privilege and also to engage in such wars, adventures, experiments, reforms, etc., as it pleases, not at its own cost, but at the cost of its subjects. Privilege, from the Latin privy, private, and lege, law, an advantage granted by the state and protected by the powers of coercion, a law for private benefit. Usury, that form of privilege or interference with the free market, in which one state-supported group monopolizes the coinage and thereby takes tribute, interest, direct or indirect, on all or most economic transactions. Landlordism, that form of privilege or interference with the free market in which one state-supported group owns the land and thereby takes tribute, rent, from those who live, work, or produce on the land. Tariff that form of privilege or interference with the free market in which commodities produced outside of the state are not allowed to compete equally with those produced inside of the state. Capitalism, that organization of society incorporating elements of tax, usury, landlordism, and tariff, which thus denies the free market while pretending to exemplify it. Conservatism. That school of capitalist philosophy which claims allegiance to the free market while actually supporting usury, landlordism, tariff, and sometimes taxation. Liberalism. That school of capitalist philosophy which attempts to correct the injustices of capitalism by adding new laws to the existing laws. Each time conservatives pass a law creating privilege, liberals pass another law modifying privilege, leading conservatives to pass a more subtle law recreating privilege, etc., until everything not forbidden is compulsory and everything not compulsory is forbidden. Socialism, the attempted abolition of all privilege by restoring power entirely to the coercive agent behind privilege, the state, thereby converting capitalist oligarchy into status monopoly, whitewashing a wall by painting it black. Anarchism, that organization of society in which the free market operates freely, without taxes, usury, landlordism, tariffs, or other forms of coercion or privilege. Right anarchists predict that the free market people would voluntarily choose to compete more often than to cooperate. Left anarchists predict that in the free market people would voluntarily choose to cooperate more often than to compete. Quite a, a substantial little list of definitions there, don't you think?
Second part's going to be more intricate too, so I'm glad that I got that one done right the first time. I wanted to waste any time getting to the more intricate solution parts or the end, end of the project. What's funny, the last reading I did, or the reading I did just before I started taping this, was from uh, 
trilogy, a science fiction trilogy written and released in the 60s and 70s. In various periods of time from a lot of people talking about similar types of things because some, some human drama doesn't really change, change altogether too much. Here I am burping because I have a cup of tea. I just had a, a sip for one that's repeating quick. So, uh, human culture doesn't change altogether too quickly. The parts of the, the what's sometimes called the systemic, the system, the big capital S system, uh, has been broken into fractions, given, you know, names, conservatives here, liberals here, and then that's what the reading was kind of dealing with, how one group which tends to be the ones who want things to stay the same, which is generally almost everybody, most of the time, want a fair degree of you know, consistency, not change, or not, not too much change, at least at once. Not everybody's like that. But when the conservative parties do their thing best, they are creating privilege through the legal system. So when liberals come back, they want to modify via the legal system, which is the state itself. Which is why credit rating really does matter quite a bit here. Because if they don't have our approval, that's the more important type of credit than the type which is, you know, attached to the monetary system. That's a whole other type of credit. And that credit is one that the legal entity the government of Newfoundland and Labrador, that that legal entity, it's it cares more about the credit rating attached to the interest rates than it does about the approval credit rating it gets from its own population. That is a very, very worrying kind of thing to see in a liberal party, a supposed liberal party, because they're steamrolling a few big projects, well really one really huge project and one really huge uh, super corporation called Nalcor and it's against the it seems to be against what the wishes of at least part of its population would, would have of it. <laughs> if it was truly liberal truly liberal or if it was truly brave it would be willing to stop what the previous governments had started to do and to take the hit to the credit rating over the short term knowing that in the long term we should be better off on another course than pursuing one which was for some you know undefined and conservative ends instead of modifying the privilege to suit something which is more universal in general they're modifying privileges to suit certain interests, moneyed, who predated them. So it's it's a, a double whammy in our case. I'm not that angry about it, as angry as I might get in the video, or as, as, as loud as I might yell certain forms of derision towards certain members of the current government. And I don't feel bad about anything I said either. And I've watched it a few different times now, so I've had to consider long and hard. Hey, am I going to put this up or not? Or, yes, I am. I am. And I'm going to probably get told off for saying some things a certain way. I will say this. <laughs> There's a difference between an indefinite and a definite article. For example, if someone get a someone or something. Someone get a person a hamburger as opposed to someone get that person a hamburger that particular one and I, I happen to not say the word person in this case but it wasn't for any political gain it was, it was merely a matter of pointing out the obvious definite article and the fool and not easily part of
Fight back! 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 Fight back!